place like Columbia, one of our key goals, of course, is to train the next generation of physicians and surgeons. They benefit enormously from being at a place that is at the forefront of the advancement of medical knowledge. Columbia University Medical Center especially has incredible people. The doctors are phenomenal. Um, the place is incredible. It's very cutting edge. When I first started at Columbia, the medical students came from such a diverse background. They had so many interests that they brought in with them. I was used to maybe students being interested in basic research, but so many students were very passionate about doing research about public health issues, global health issues, and I feel like that's a really unique aspect. We have some of the best students in the country, in the world, that attend Columbia. Their expectations are high, and uh, when you work with them, you can't help but you know, as an educator, be inspired and want to give them uh, the best opportunities for learning. They're incredibly civically minded. They're incredibly dedicated to the patients, the patient's welfare and the community. And they're so motivated to be the best they can be. Every day you're being taught by somebody who's a leader in their field. So when they say this is the way it is, you can feel pretty confident that they're saying exactly <laughs> like what's the news up to date developments. Um, for whatever that field may be. And that's just kind of, that's just awesome. They want to make the world better. They don't just want to take care of patients. They don't just want to do research. They want to do both. And they want to do it by putting the broad knowledge of medicine together with the deep question answering of research. And it's very impressive. We have to work together because someone down the street or someone across the country may have some kind of expertise that you don't have. And so the more you talk to people and the more you engage with people who are in your field, you will be able to expand on your own ideas. I think that this building is a great representation of that because by bringing everyone together, we'll be able to foster that sense of community. When we got going thinking about the building, we involved others, of course, and Clyde Wu was one of the early ones who joined us. And together we decided this was going to happen at, at the medical school because it was so critical for the students and the faculty. We involved everyone, the students, the faculty, but especially Phil. I was also able to husband uh, this building through the process uh, because I recognized what a quality building it, it is and will be. And it's got all the love and care of the brilliance of Roy and his family. This is a great example of how a, a truly great university can be even better with the involvement of uh, major philanthropists and donors who care about the institution. And Roy and Diana uh, have uh, led this effort to try to provide the resources as well as the advice and counsel. And this just would not have happened but for uh, their participation. Roy is truly inspiring. He has the highest standards and he makes us all want to reach even higher together with him. I wish we could clone Roy Vagelos. He is the salt of the earth. Students love meeting with him, and I think Roy enjoys meeting with the students. He's a model, an icon of one who is fully committed to making this the best place it can possibly be for everybody. We love Roy. For me, Roy and Diana Vagelos are really the heart of this building. At every meeting, they ask questions. What would the students think? What would the teachers think? Uh, they ask questions really about how the building was going to work. Roy, from the beginning of the project, has been a collaborator. His philosophy um, has everything to do with what this building is expressing and the generosity of thought and space and education is very much embodied in this building. This building takes a very, very different approach to learning. Uh, it's maybe more like a startup. It's about informal space. We were able to convert those ideas about collaboration, about those um, chance meetings between people, the unstructured uh, learning that is so key to the new educational space. What was really critical for the process was the involvement of the students. We would meet with the students generally after hours and not only get the input from the group itself but they, the students, were also responsible to get the input of all their classmates. It wanted to be a building about the future and the best way to do that is to go to the students. I 
love the idea of the whole southern face being this like connected cascade. One of the challenges of going to school in a city like New York is a lack of communal space and the idea that the entire southern half of the building is this vertical community I think is awesome. Our campus doesn't really have the same kind of campus feel that maybe, for example, the undergraduate campus has. The new building will help to make the campus feel more like a campus. Oh, it's fantastic. That new building was conceived brilliantly. It has spaces for simulation. We've been doing simulation uh, for quite some time now. What's really exciting about the new simulation center is it's a part of the new uh, medical graduate education building. Here at the medical center, we're fortunate to have a number of of very generous donors who have really made a difference over time. New facilities, especially the Medical and Graduate Education Building, critical for us to be at the top of our game. Both of these families recognize what it takes to be great and they've helped make us even greater. The 250th anniversary uh, of the medical school uh, provides us with a moment in which to reflect on the fact that this is an extraordinary institution that it's had this illustrious history uh, and it seems to be on the cusp of an even greater uh, future. The education building will stand for Columbia's commitment uh, to its students, to education, and to building a, a campus that uh, scholars and students will be proud to come to for uh, the next 250 years.